straight over here. Like so. And the same. Over here. Okay, so you've got to spend a little bit more time making sure you've got each of these laid out and that's where you might want to add a few more guides and just say, right, well, that's just off center, but put that onto center and then have one set maybe to 300 and start to space out each of your guides so you can space out your text. Okay, but for now, I'm happy with them. And what we want to do to these lines is we want to have them so that they fade out from the bottom. Okay, so make sure you've got that whole group selected. I'm going to come to Layer. I'm going to come to Layer Mask and Reveal All. And then again, using my pen tool, make sure you're on black. There are a number of ways you can just mask out the bottom. Okay, but we want it to fade. So again, I've got that feathered, and I'm just going to take out bottom layers like so. And again you can be more precise using the gradient tool but I think it's just as quick to use our brush tool. Okay so the next thing to do is to apply that pattern over the top of our header. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our header layer we're going to double click on that and we're going to apply, I'm sorry, we're going to duplicate that layer, then we're going to apply our pattern. So duplicate the layer, uncheck our gradient overlay, check the pattern overlay, come down to our pattern, we're going to have it as overlay, and then click on OK. And then we're just going to reduce the opacity of that layer, right down to about 45 or so, something like that maybe even as high as 50. Okay, so we can get a bit of our detail in the top. And again, we're going to apply another layer mask to that layer. So come to Layer Mask, go to Hide All, I'm going to choose my Pen Tool, make sure I change it to white, and again, increase the size of my brush. I'm going to click around like so. Now, you might want to have the area around the pattern slightly bigger. That's okay, just increase the size of your brush. That's a bit too much. Like so. And I'm happy with that. And again, the bigger brush you use, the more you're going to see of your background layer, or you could use a black to white gradient along the top, and you could set that to linear, you could set it to radial to get different effects, but I just want to have this flowery pattern effect creeping up from the bottom around the middle here. Okay, so the next thing to do is to add our center text. So I'm just going to come up to the top, add a new layer, in fact I don't need to add a new layer, I'm going to delete that layer, I'm going to come over to my text tool, I'm going to have it set on bold, and I'm going to type PSD. We're going to increase the size of that. That's nice and big, nice and bold. And then I'm going to add a new text box, and I'm just going to type in the toots part. I'm going to take it off bold and just leave it as regular and just reduce it down slightly like so. Make sure you select the two layers and you can position that in the middle of your header. And again, you can group these together, you can call that header. Title, go back in, select those two layers you can duplicate them. Again, select the bottom two. And we're going to turn them to black. And then we're going to nudge them to the left and up one. 
Okay, so that's the tutorial. You can take it obviously a lot further. You can add some other text down the bottom down here. You could add buttons in the top right hand corner or left hand corners. You could create a new layer at the top. Like so. And you could just use a selection tool and you could draw out and fill a little content area like so. And again, you could apply maybe a drop shadow to that. And that's it really, you can get rid of your guides now and have a real good look at how everything looks. I think you'll find you get a quite a nice 3D lift effect because we've put that shadow underneath and we've used radial layer masks there to reveal different parts of the site and different parts of the header. So I hope you enjoy that tutorial and I'd like to see what you, you guys do with it. So thanks very much, I'm Gavin Steele doing a tutorial on Fabio's 3D web design effect for PST Toots Spoon-Fed Photoshop.